What you're looking at here is a real-time server-rendered full-stack app deployed to the web that leverages Google's brand new Palm 2 large language model. It's a text summarizer that allows you to paste in some garbage content from a website like CNN or Fox News, then get a quick summary in a few sentences. The UI updates in real time and stores the result in an infinitely scalable cloud database. There's a lot of complexity there, but it only took me two minutes to build, thanks to the incredible magic of Firebase. Over the next two minutes, we'll rebuild this entire app from scratch with SvelteKit and then deploy it to Firebase base because it now supports popular SSR frameworks like Next, Nuxt, and so on. Let's go ahead and set the timer for two minutes and get started. Step one is to generate a new SvelteKit project, then install the Firebase SDK. We'll also install Svelte Fire to integrate Firebase with Svelte stores. From there, we'll need a Firebase project and we'll want to enable Firestore. Next, we can go to the project settings and create a new app to initialize the project. Go ahead and copy the project credentials, then use them to initialize Firebase in a Svelte component. Now that that's done, go to the Firebase Extensions Hub and filter by AI. You'll notice a few different extensions here using the Palm API. Let's go ahead and install the Summarize Text extension. That'll deploy a cloud function for you that's triggered anytime an update happens to a document in the text documents collection. We can see it in action by going to that collection, then add a document to it with a text field. You'll see it update in real time with a summary field generated by the Palm API. And it's blazingly fast. Now let's go back into the app and import doc store from Svelfire to view that document in real time. In the UI, we simply put a dollar sign in front of it, which will subscribe to the data in the database and update the UI in real time. Now let's create a form that runs a function named handle submit to allow the user to update that document. That function will take the text field from the form, then await a call to set doc with the document reference to update the text field. Whenever that text field is updated in the database, it triggers that cloud function to call the Palm API and update the summary. And now we have a full stack real time application using the latest advancements in AI. It still blows my mind how easy Firebase makes this, but now we have a bunch of time to kill. Let's go ahead and deploy our server rendered app by running Firebase Experiments Enable Web Frameworks from the command line. Now we can run Firebase init hosting and it will automatically detect that we're working with SvelteKit. Now run Firebase Deploy and it will provision a cloud function to handle server side rendering. And now our app is live on the internet. That was also too easy, so I'm just going to have to cut this video short. In addition to Palm, there's also a lot of other cool things you can do with extensions. I recently used it with the Vonage API to create a video chat app inspired by Chat Roulette and Omegle. That one's a little more complex and I'll break it down in a future video, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. In addition, Firebase announced a couple of other new features, like a Python runtime for cloud functions. This is awesome because it means you can use Python libraries like NumPy, Pandas, and whatever to build HTTP APIs or run code on various triggers, like when a document is updated in Firestore. And there's even experimental support for the deployment of Flask and Django apps. And speaking of Firestore, they also just introduced OR queries, which allow you to filter documents server-side instead of making multiple queries and then filtering them client side. Not only will that make complex queries faster, but it will also reduce the total number of document reads you need to make. In addition, another new unexpected feature for Firebase is Terraform support. If you're unfamiliar with Terraform, I have a 100 second video on it, but basically it allows you to represent your Firebase project configuration as code, as opposed to creating a new project manually and clicking a bunch of buttons in the UI. Pretty cool, and if you want to get really good at Firebase, become a pro member at Fireship.io. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.